My longest streak at Telos is 65 kills, and that's not bad, but it's also not where I need to be if I want to get a hardcore Iron Man the dormant title, which is every single drop from Telos. Streaking at Telos is a test of execution and consistency. If you're prone to making mistakes, you won't be able to get far. If you haven't heard, I lost my first life on my hardcore Iron Man at the Queen Black Dragon due to me panicking. I succumbed to the pressure and I froze. I need to work on that. The last time I risked an orb at Telos was eight months ago, and it ended in instant disaster. But more on that later. The plan for today is to test my consistency and my ability to perform in high pressure situations. I will not claim this Telos chest unless there are multiple uniques in it. If I get a drop, I have to risk it no matter what it is. If I can do this, I stand a chance on my hardcore Iron Man. And if I fail, I know I have a lot more work to do. This is the Telos test. I also have a heart rate monitor on for a lot of the loots. It's one more way to see if I'm calm or if I'm stressing. I'm a runner with a healthy resting heart rate. My heart rate while streaming will be significantly higher. That's just how it works and it's completely normal. So without further ado and without further preamble, let's get right into the Telos test. It begins! So my very next auto attack here is a so much power, which, uh, well, it should be fun to deal with anyway, figure it out. Ow. Well, it happened at the first so much power of the Tello streak. <laughs> What is going on? Calculated. I have so much more fun with phase three when I don't onslaught. I know it's better to onslaught, but it's just so much more fun to do it this way that it's literally slower and more work. But look at that Saren Godbo spec. Like, come on. That's so sick. the orb. Ah, just kidding. Oh, I just stunned the boss in the beam. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, wait. Get down! We're fine. <laughs> I have no food left. Okay. 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 Didn't even sign. Easy. That's definitely an orb. Yeah, that's 100% a green orb. Cool. There's the green orb in the chest. Sweet. So you know how I said I was never good at Telos in these high pressure situations? Well, that was the last time I risked an orb. It was eight months ago and I literally lasted six minutes. I didn't make it a single kill with the orb risk. So that's kind of running through my head right now as the last thing that happened. And uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't happen this time. That's kind of the whole point. If I die, I lose close to 400 million coins. You'll also notice the last time I risked an orb, I put a death touch dart in my invent. We're not doing that this time. That's lame. Did I win? I did not win. Lots of energy though. Nope. Thank you for the dragon stones. Toad flax. Oh, please be an orb. Oh, it's gonna be stone spirits. It's gonna be stone spirits. Oh, don't you freaking do this, Jagax. Don't you, it's stone spirits. It's stone spirits, it's stone. You're the worst. You're literally the worst, dude. One single onyx on a 76 kill streak. You're trolling me, bro. That is a joke. That is an absolute trap. One onyx? All right, chat, it's time to focus up here. Let's go. Hey right, guys, first kill today. If I got a drop, I'd be so happy. I'd be literally over the moon. Continue.
You saw nothing? <laughs> I didn't just rezzo an uppercut? Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. Who, who, in, who in the right mind would rezzo an uppercut? Wasn't me. Not I, said Mr. Guy. What is that stall, dude? Wait, what? All right, apparently the virus doesn't exist. That was sick. Basically didn't need to onslaught there. Cool. Good kill, friends. That'd be a great kill to like end it on, to be like, yeah, I can do this. <gasps> That's where Onyx is. What in the world are you? my record friends it's the best i've ever done anyway at this plus also i like that i stuck to the night hole the whole way too that's cool 198 million coins in the chest that's so sick that's actually the sickest thing of all time ha oh i signed oh shit. you'll notice within a couple seconds of me signing my heart rate just absolutely spikes there's something about phase four where i just don't know if I've got the autos right and I second guess myself and it gets extremely stressful. But thus far on this streak, the P5s have been extremely good. And you'll notice as soon as this phase five starts, I get pretty calmed down, my heart rate drops again, and I kind of knew what I was doing at this point. This is the first Telo streak where I've actually felt confident on phase five. Normally, I'm a little iffy on phase four and phase five. This time, just phase four was causing some problems. P5, pretty clean. Still, if I die at this point, I literally lose over 400 million coins, so I'm gonna wait till I've got a sign back. Yeah, I do not like reds at all. They really, uh, they got on my nerves a little bit, but we did kill the boss, we're okay. Whew! There we go, we're good. Crystal keys, and we continue. Yeah, we're doing well here. Oh my god, I'm dead! I didn't sign. Holy crap. Whoo, that virus hit so much. Holy crap. That was a big virus. Alrighty. Obviously that P3 was a little manka, but rest was good. Another kill down. Some salvage up to... 966, keep going. Back beam reds. This is the test. Done. 966 done the back beam reds. Please be a drop. Oh my god, please. Oh god, please, please be done. I don't I cannot do this anymore. I mentally can't freaking do this anymore, please. Jagga! Yes, we did it! We got the double chest! Oh my god! Whoo! Let's go, baby! Double chest done! It took a little more than I thought it would, but we got it done! We parked the bus! We drove the bus into the parking lot. The kids made it home from school. They're not gonna miss aftercare. Before today, my confidence in high-risk situations was literally zero. My track record was absolutely terrible, and I feel like this is the first time I've accomplished something stressful in game without succumbing to the pressure. I didn't make any mistakes, and my execution was near perfect the entire time. I wouldn't have even attempted something like this, except for what happened to the Hardcore Iron Man. And then I thought back to the previous time that I'd lost an orb. And then I thought back to the Telos tournament, where I practiced like crazy, and then on the actual day of the event, I dropped the ball. So to say I'm happy about this is an absolute understatement. I think I'm finally past this mental block of panicking and making these big mistakes, and I'm excited to see where this takes me. I think I'm ready to take my PVMing to the next level. Some stats about the Tello streak. It took 12 hours and the total value of the chest, including the price of the two orbs, is 909 million coins. This means that over the 12 hours, I averaged just over 75 million coins per hour. That's absolutely insane. 
If you're bad at something, the way to get better at it isn't to just continue to be bad at it. I continually counted myself out and mentally thought, well, I'm in this high pressure situation, I'm gonna screw it up. And in this instance, the only way to get past it was to hit the nail directly on the head and actually tackle the thing that I was struggling with the most, tackle the thing that I was scared of the most, and I feel fantastic now having done it. This video should have gone out a good long time ago, but I have actually been dealing with a pretty not great concussion, so I've just had a lot of headaches and I've been out of commission for a lot of the nights that I would normally spend editing these videos. That being said, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, so the upload schedule should be back into effect pretty much now. So anyways, I appreciate your patience, thank you for the wait, and I will see you guys again in a couple days for a brand new video.